My name is Davine Verstandig, and I'm reading at the wonderful Hickory Stick Bookshop in Washington, Depot, Connecticut. I'm reading from a favorite book of mine, which is Alice Walker's The Color Purple, and it was published in 1982, and from thus that year on, it's been banned in many places for uh, troubling ideas about race, uh, race relations, man's relationship to God, African history, and human sexuality. And for me, it's probably one of the most extraordinary epistolary novels of the 20th century, uh, novels in the form of letters. And of course, most of the book is Seeley's Letters to God, and then Seeley's Letters to her sister Nettie. Um, I often teach this book at UConn. Um, to me, this is a book about love. Everybody learned something in life. Speaking of learning, mister, say one day us was snow sewing out there on the porch. I first start to learn all them days ago I used to sit up there on my porch staring out across the railing. Just miserable. That's what I was. And I couldn't understand why us have life at all if all it can do most times is make us feel bad. All I ever wanted in life was Shug Avery, he say. The one while all she wanted in life was me. Well, us couldn't have each other, he say. I got Auntie Julia, then you. All them rotten children, she got Grady and who know who all. But still, look like she come out better than me. A lot of people love Shug, but nobody but Shug loved me. Hard not to love Shug, I say. She know how to love somebody back. I tried to do something about my children after you left me. But by that time it was too late. Bub come home with me for two weeks, stole all my money, laid up on the porch drunk. My girls so far off into men's and religion that they can't hardly talk. Every time they open their mouths, some kind of plea come out, nearly about to broke my sorry heart. If you know your heart sorry, I say, that mean it not quite as spoiled as you think. Anyhow, he say, you know how it is. You asked yourself one question, it lead to 15. I start to wonder why us need love. Why us suffer? Why us black? Why us men and women? Where do children really come from? It didn't take long to realize I didn't hardly know nothing. And that if you ask yourself why you black, or a man, or a woman, or a bush, it don't mean nothing if you don't ask why you're here, period. So what you think, I ask. I think us here to wonder. To wonder, to ask. And that in wondering about the big things and asking about the big things, you learn about the little ones almost by accident. But you never know nothing more about the big things than you start out with. The more I wonder, he say, the more I love. And people start to love you back, I bet. I say. They do, he say, surprise, 
Harpo seemed to love me. Sophia and the children, I think even old evil Henrietta loved me a little bit. And that's because she knows she's just as big a mystery to me as the man in the moon. Mr.'s busy patterning a shirt for folks to wear with my pants. Gotta have pockets, he say. Gotta have loose sleeves. And definitely, you're not supposed to wear it with no tie. Folks wearing ties look like they're being lynched. And then, just when I know I can live content without Suge, just when Mr. done asked me to marry him again, this time, in the spirit as well as in the flesh. Just after I say, nah, I still don't like frogs, and let's us be friends. Suge, write me, she coming home. Now, is this life or not? I'd be so calm. If she come, I'd be happy. If she don't, I'd be content. And then I figure, this the lesson I was supposed to learn. Oh, Celie, she say, stepping out of the car, dressed like a movie star. I missed you more than I missed my own mama. Us hug. Come on in, I say. Oh, the house looks so nice, she say, when us get to her room. You know I love pink. Got you some elephants and turtles coming, too, I say. Where are your room, she asked. Down the hall, I say. Let's go see it, she say. Well, here it is, I say, standing in the door. Everything in my room, purple and red, set the carpet, set the, set the floor, that painted bright yellow. She go right up to the little purple frog perch on my mantelpiece. What's this, she asked. Oh, I say, little something Albert carved for me. She look at me funny for a minute. I look at her, then I laugh. Where'd Jermaine ask? I ask. In college, she say, Wilberforce. Can't let all that talent go to waste. Us through, though, she say. He feel just like family now, like a son, maybe a grandson. What you and Albert been up to? She asks. Nothing much, I say. She say, I know Albert, and I bet he been up to something with you looking as fine as you look. Us so, I say, make idle conversation. How idle, she asked. What do you know, I think? Shug jealous. I have a good mind to make up a story just to make her feel bad, but I don't. Us talk about you, I say. How much I, us love you. She smiles. Come put her head on my breast. Let out a long breath.